The current dynamics of the energy sector are very much affected by disruption. This is very new. It used to be the case that uh, the best way to tackle uh, the business in the energy sector was just to do better what people had done for years. People had, who had been innovative, which were trying to change and you know, find new business model, usually lost a lot of money and a lot of time uh, by going the wrong way. Today, things have changed. I mean, there is major disruption coming major from three sources. The first one being shale gas, the second one being renewables, and the third one being substitution to oil products, which could profoundly change the way people will think at the energy sector going forward. Company needs to be aware of the change. They cannot you know, continue to strategize as they used to do it in the past, just thinking that things are going to continue and you know the old recipe will work for the future. They need to be much more agile than it used to be. And I think that's something which is very, very important. They need also to be much more ready uh, to uh, address uh, the changes we're going to come. So studying the different scenarios which could uh, arriving and preparing the right business model response to it. Going from a hierarchical organization to something which is more agile, where employees are more empowered, is becoming rather fundamental. We see some players, you know, having adopted these types of business model, and there's a lot to learn for large organizations. You know, how fast those people move and are able to take a decision, how much they delegate to the people on the line, you know, at the lowest stage of the organization, which are the traders, gives them an opportunity to react in five minutes, where classical organization react in months or quarters. And that's a competitive edge that more and more companies will need to build in-house. We do have a team, you know, around 20 to 30 people who have been commodity traders themselves. We have also developed a lot of intellectual property on the subject, you know, going from projects in oil, power and gas, mining, metals, and soft commodities. We have learned during this journey, and we have developed uh, frameworks which enabled us to be much more effective in understanding how to earn money, how to organize, how to develop strategies that not a lot of our competitors have been able to develop.